Hey guys, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. On this channel, we try to cover all things reality, TV news, and gossip, as well as trending topics. And today we're going to be talking about Janelle and David Easton, Janelle Evans from Team Mom. You guys know we've been keeping up with everything going on in her life and what's happening. This is not an April Fool's joke. Um, to be quite honest, I have not heard much from my sources about this. This is kind of new info to me. But this was put out by The Sun because Janelle Evans' manager, August King, actually put out a statement to them to try to clear up some of the rumors. And to be quite honest, I think Janelle, I think Janelle thinks it makes her look good, but it doesn't. Um, it actually does not make her look good. As you guys all know, um, David and Janelle, they split up February. Um, so I was informed of the split, I think on February 21st or February 22nd, my sources reached out to me to let me know like, Hey, um, you know, Janelle got custody back of Jace. Once CPS dropped the CPS case, she regained custody of Jace. Jace was coming back home to her. So for that reason, she had David leave the home under the guise of like, Hey, Jace has to come home. So you have to leave and we'll just kind of figure it out from there. Well, after he left. She messaged him and was like, hey, uh, it's done. It's over with. We're over. And then she also had Marissa leave. About a week or two after that, she um, reported a break-in at their house, right? That someone had tried to break in and that it was terrifying, even though the man didn't try to break in. She even said that she thought the man was coming directly for her, that he was there for her, even though literally the man did not do anything. And it was like the man was lost. I mean, we covered it on my channel. The video is up if you guys want to go over uh, the recording of this man at her house, right? Now, I said this. I said after that happened, Janelle put out TikTok said, oh, my God, something so scary happened. So scary. Um, and then when she talked about it, she said somebody tried to break in. I said, I don't know. This feels like she wants a reason to allow David to come back home, that she is hoping that, oh, if somebody broke in, she can go to the judge and say, hey, somebody tried to break in. It's just me and my kids here. Please let my husband come home, right? Well, you guys, that's exactly what happened. After the break in, she contacted the, whoever she needed to contact and told them, listen, I have my son Jace here. He's in my custody, um, but there's a restraining order between my husband, David Eason, concerning my son, Jace, due to alleged allegations. But someone recently tried to break into my house, so I would like for my husband to be able to come home to protect his family. And they said, okay, oh, sure, sure. Yeah, he can come home. He can come home to protect the family. So it was actually when he came home during that time, he stayed at the house, apparently with Jace, to protect the family. It was during that time that, um, Janelle realized, I guess, that she didn't want to be with David. So we're going to go over this article because literally Janelle's, Janelle's own manager put this out to the sun. Okay. So let me be clear. They're not together now. This was after, okay, after Jace came home and she made him leave so Jace could come home. But then the break-in happened she had it approved for him to come home to protect his family however at some point decided no I, I think we need to split up he left to go stay on the boat and quit quit talking to her so she was like yeah we don't need to be together so let me i, I thought this break in i was like i think this is the ploy to get approval to get him back at the house all right, so let's go over this article. In an exclusive statement to The Sun, Janelle's manager claimed that after the alleged break-in at the ex-reality star's home in February, authorities allowed David Eason to stay with the family despite the order of protection against him after he allegedly strangled Jace in September. I'm not, I mean, I know you're innocent until proven guilty, but when it comes to kids, you can't really chance it. Like if, like if that would have been me as a judge and 
I would have been like, hey, we're trying to get approval for this father to go back home to his wife and his stepson, who there's currently an RO because he allegedly choked out his stepson. So can daddy go back home to protect the family? I'd be like, oh, seems like the family needs protection from daddy. And no. Woman and the kids can go stay with somebody else, with mama. They can have somebody else come out and stay for protection. But no, daddy can't go back home. Sorry. Because, I mean, how many times, you know, does something like this happen? And then it's bad. You know, like, well, what if David, when he was allowed home by the police, could you guys imagine, the public doesn't know this, right? Could you guys imagine the public did not know this? David was allowed back home by the police following the break-in. And then something crazy happened between David and Jace. And David ended up like hurting Jace to the point to where it was really, really bad, more than he did in September. Then what? Then how would a judge feel? You know, if he's the one that gave the okay. Okay. So I, my title, let me go. David Easton returned home to protect family after break-in despite allegations of harming Jace. So he was allowed to return home after the break-in. He's not there anymore. So they're still split up. But he was allowed back home. And he did spend time in that house with and around Jace, despite the fact that there was this RO. And who made this happen? Janelle. Like I said, Janelle's manager had this, did this. Janelle's manager spoke to the son to try to clear up any allegations. And I'm like, this did not help you. This did not help you, baby girl. Like somebody breaks into your house and you you're scared to go stay with somebody i don't know go stay with a family member a friend somebody don't call the judge and say can my husband please come back home you know the one that allegedly attacked my son can he please come back okay so let's continue okay the janelle's manager august Kane revealed during the very traumatic experience that janelle and jace endured during the break-in the police allowed for David to come home to protect his family. He said it was during those days together at the home that his client, Janelle, made her final decision to file for separation. During those few days together, Janelle expressed to me that David had said a few things that caused her to make her final decision and submit the documents for separation. It appears that had things gone differently at the home with David, that things would have been okay. That she probably would have stayed with him through the felony strangulation and misdemeanor child abuse charges and that case. So you know how we were all like, oh, well, she got Jace back. So to bring Jace home, she made him leave. And it appeared like she finally chose Jace. You guys remember that? It's like, well, I mean, I guess it appears like she finally chose Jace. She got him out of the house on the second that he was out. She's like, okay, bye, sayonara, sayonara, see you later. You're not coming back. I choose my son. That's actually not what happened. She actually didn't choose her son. She actually really did say, hey, leave because we got to bring Jace back. And then the break-in happened. And she said, never mind, come back, come back to protect us. And then it was something David said during those days that she was like, mm, actually, no, I don't want to be with him. Her manager, she put this out via her manager thinking this would make her look good. And it's making her look even worse because for those of us that thought for a split second that she chose Jace when it came, when it came time for Jace to be able to come home, she was like, all right, Jace is coming home. Dave, you got to get out. And actually put her foot down and was like, I'm taking care of my son now. No, that's not what happened, you guys. That's actually not what happened. All right. So the manager added, the ball was in David's court. But unfortunately, he didn't take the time while being together during this moment to ease her suffering or her worrying. That is what ultimately led to legal separation. That makes much more sense. That makes much more sense that Janelle's the reason Janelle decided to file for separation was because David wasn't doing enough for her. He wasn't there during moments to ease her suffering or her worry. And it actually wasn't that she, that she chose, chose Jace over David. No, nope. 
Janelle's manager also made other stunning revelations in the lengthy statement. According to August, Janelle told him that David did not abuse Jace. Otherwise, it would have ended sooner than the no contact order the courts placed on David due to those allegations. Girl, there's footage of this. Janelle, I really wonder if Janelle knows at this point that there's footage of this or if this if she, if she still doesn't know. I would have to imagine she has to know by this point. But I think it's going to be kind of crazy, you know, uh, David and Janelle saying there's no footage, there's no footage, there's no ring camera footage when it comes out that there is actually footage. Amanda May says, maybe David was the intruder. It, now, here's the thing. We know the intruder wasn't David because she put that, she put her security footage out there. Um, it was some guy, but he he didn't seem like he was there to hurt anybody. He really seemed like he was lost. Like, it, like I mean, it could be that David hired somebody for that or Janelle and David went in together. Like, hey, we're going to get the, this in guy that we know. We'll pay you $200 to stumble around the yard to do X, Y, and Z. We're going to report it, um, but we'll pay you. Don't worry. We'll make sure your face doesn't get out there and we'll never tattle. I mean, who knows at this point? You know, I don't put anything past these people. I haven't covered that yet. I did do a video earlier today about Mac and Ryan and um, Ryan sexting other women and Amanda not believing it. Um, but there's so much going on with them that I'm going to have to do more on that. Um, thank you, Amanda, so much for your support. Okay, so. It was because of no, the no contact order that they were forced to temporarily separate. It appears from the statement that there were several points where David could have possibly saved the relationship. Not shocked. The statement said, things may or may not have been able to be smoothed over, but David stopped communicating with Janelle just a couple of days while on the boat. Me and Janelle were, this is August, me and Janelle were actually really worried about David considering the situation. We had no idea where he was. She was actually happy he was okay, and we were all relieved seeing him at a bar via social media. So no, the bar was not really an issue for her. I had a lot of people messaging me saying, did you hear that like the reason Janelle filed for separation was because David was at a bar? And I'm like, uh, I don't, I, I, they were already not together at that point to my knowledge. Like he was already on the boat. She was already making posts about doing better for herself. Like my source told me she had already like booted him out. So I went, like, I didn't think that was the problem. Janelle's manager was referencing the son's previous story that seeing her estranged husband at a bar with a woman in the background sent Janelle into a jealous fit. That didn't happen. The statement also touched on the fractured relationship Janelle has with her stepdaughter, Marissa, after it was widely reported that Janelle had kicked the 16-year-old out of the house amid relationship woes with her father. In regards to Marissa, there was never any ill will or negative intentions on Janelle's part. No malicious undertone whatsoever. Marissa had already not been coming home for weeks and weeks, and she had already been staying at her friend's house. The room was uninhabited, and nobody was sleeping in it. Okay, what I can tell you guys straight from my source is that, yes, Marissa doesn't, didn't stay at the house a lot. Since she got her vehicle, she was gone a lot. But that was still her room her room and still her house. And Janelle absolutely positively did message Marissa saying, you have to leave. When you come home, I need you to get all your stuff and you have to leave. And that's going to be Jace's room. So leave the key. Um, I don't know how it like, what do you mean? No ill intentions like to, to kick a 16 year old out and texting her, texting her to kick her out, not waiting for her to come home or say, Hey, Marissa, I know you've been, you know, gone for a few days, but if you don't mind, can you come like swing by the house today so we can have a chit chat? I got to talk to you about some stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, no, she did it via text and um, she absolutely was like, leave the key, you're out. Like in regards to Marissa, hold on. Oh, and two, when Marissa went ahead and came in, she came in, went to her room. And Janelle texted her, was like, so 
are you gonna leave because like i that's gotta be jace's room jace has to have his own room like are you gonna leave and marissa wouldn't text back to my knowledge because she didn't know what to do and david was telling her no don't text back don't leave that's your house she can't make you leave if she kicks you out like she could get in trouble for that because your child don't leave so marissa just stayed then like later that night she knocked on the door and was like well i guess since it's late you can stay but tomorrow like when you leave like go ahead and get your things and leave the key i mean i don't know how you consider that not like negative intentions i don't know she could have like sat her down and had a talk with her jace had just arrived home and the arrangement of jace and kaiser sharing a room wasn't working out so janelle kindly asked marissa if it was okay if jace could sleep in her room while david fixed the upstairs bedroom and she could go back and she could get her room back after david got home and fixed the upstairs this won't even make sense so david's gone you're telling her she has to move out while david's gone oh but once the child once this case is over and we win then he'll fix the upstairs and you can come back this don't even make sense Janelle's rep said that it didn't work out. Hold on. Why is that right there? Move. Bear with me, guys. There's a big thing over my article. Okay. Janelle's rep said that it didn't end up working out, and he believed the tabloids painted a picture that Janelle was kicking Marissa out and tried to portray her as the evil stepmother. The manager said this all went down when the alleged break-in happened, and Janelle made the decision to part ways with both David and Marissa. No, that doesn't sound like the evil stepmother. Janelle decided to part ways with David and Marissa, and since she has to talk to Marissa, Janelle's admitted that herself, that she has to talk to Marissa, that she felt like they never made that connection i don't know that's not us portraying you as anything that's like you saying like you haven't even reached out to her to say hey how you doing she was with you since she was eight years old so you can't in over a month you haven't texted her to say how are you doing marissa janelle's manager said he was releasing the statement to make sure some rumors are put to rest and, clar and clarity is brought to this unfortunate situation. As the Sun previously reported, through a, uh, reported a source claimed that David, who has been living on the couple's boat in a dock marina, was only supposed to be living on the watercraft for a couple of weeks while the pair figured things out. That source, so that's what I was told initially that that's what she told David. When she got the call, she could go get Jace or whatever. She was like, well, we can't bring him home. So can you go stay somewhere? He said, go stay on the boat. And he was like, yeah, sure. She went and got Jace, but then made the decision, like, I'm getting rid of him. So from my understanding, this was something that I think she had kind of been wanting to get rid of him. I don't think it was just Jace. I don't think it was to protect Jace, to put Jace first. I think it was because David wasn't doing what Janelle wanted him to do. The source said the initial plan was that David would stay on the nearby boat for just a couple of weeks while they figured out what would happen with Janelle's oldest son, Jace, after CPS dismissed the case against them. Janelle got custody back of her son, Jace, in mid-February after CPS had taken the teen following his allegations that David had assaulted him. The problem with that is that David had a stay-away order against him for Jace after he was charged with felony, felony battery by strangulation following an incident in September 2023. When CPS dismissed their case against Janelle, Janelle had to figure out where David would stay while things were sorted out. However, the source said that ultimately did not happen as Janelle got jealous David was posting videos of him drinking at a bar with a woman in the background. Janelle filed for separation on February 23rd, although Janelle's coming out now to say that's not the case. We were happy to see him at the bar. What way is up way? Who knows, you know? In Janelle's complaint for separation, she brought up everything from David's attempted murder, oh, admitted murder of their pet dog, Nugget, to his current felony charge 
for strangling her son. How are you going to tell your manager he didn't strangle my son, but then in the paperwork to separate from him in an effort to get custody of your child that you share with him, you're going to make note of that. Oh, just so you know, he's also facing charges for abusing my other son. So therefore, he doesn't need to have custody of our child together. You can't have it both ways. You can't say, oh, he didn't do it. He didn't do anything. No, manager, David's innocent. He didn't hurt Jay's. And then turn around and use that as a reason why he don't he don't need to have custody of y'all's daughter, you know, or, or visitation, or it needs to be supervised visitation. She also requested full custody of their daughter, Inslee. Janelle also asked the courts to have David to have David's mental fitness evaluated for visits. It said it is in the best interest of the minor child that plaintiff be granted primary physical custody of minor child and that defendant's visitation or the custodial time be predicated on a mental health assessment to ensure his fitness and ability to care for the minor child. Janelle said David's history of erratic behavior and substance abuse was problematic for his parenting Inslee. Janelle alleged in the explosive complaint that David's excessive alcohol use and his very short temper create a negative environment for the minor child. And as a family, plaintiff's, plaintiff feels as though they have had to walk on eggshells around David. His mood swings are unpredictable and vary in their intensity. I believe that. Okay, so that's what it is, you guys. I am not shocked. I'm not shocked to find that when the break-in happened, she immediately contact, contacted the courts to say, somebody tried to break in, can my husband please, please come back to protect us? And they said, yeah, sure, absolutely. Not shocked to find out that she did not, that she, the reason she finally decided to file for separation was for reasonings to do with her and not Jay's. I mean, everybody was like, there's no way Janelle would make David leave just to put Jace first. Like, there's no way she would do that. And I'm like, there's got to be something that, something that we're missing because, you know, that's kind of the way that it's appearing at the time is that she made him leave for Jace. And that's what she was saying. But nope, you guys, her, her manager has cleared that up for us now. Shout out to Janelle and her manager wanting to clear this up so everybody knows that Janelle did not choose Jace over David, but instead really did make David leave because there was a no contact order. But once the break-in happened, was able to bring him back in the home and then was like, well, he's not taking care of my needs. He's not doing what I want him to do. So you know what? Nope, it's done. Separating, divorce. I'm glad they cleared that up for us because anybody that for a second thought that maybe she was putting Jay's first, well, now we know better because they just told us. So David's charges are still pending. Um, also, I was told that Janelle has stopped paying his attorney fees. So right now they're not together. And after I, I, I'm like, is my title um, confusing? Um, David Eason returned, returned home to protect the family after the break-in. Um, so he went back after the break-in. Since then, she made him leave again. And they are still split up. So I hope that's not confusing. I don't know if I need to like change something about my title or something, because I see everybody coming in like, you know, thinking like they're back together now. Um, they're not. But when she got Jace back. We have all been of the understanding that since she's gotten Jace back, he's been gone, which I knew that he's been there a couple of times to get things and things like that. But it was our understanding that since he left, they have not been back together. That, you know what I'm saying? They haven't been back together. But now we know they have been back together. Right after the break-in, she was able to get him back home with the approval of authorities to protect his family. Um, and then after that, made him leave again. So that's what it is. I literally called it. If you go back and you watch my video um, where we talked about the, the, the break-in, I said that. I said, I would not be shocked if she is calling whoever she needs to call 
and saying, see, it's just me and my kids here and somebody broke in. We're scared. Can my husband please come home? And sure enough, that's what happened. That's what happened. She got David back home for a little bit until she decided he was not taking care of her needs and wasn't being there for her, for her worries, and she booted him out again. The, the, story, the title is a little confusing for those of us who haven't fully kept up with the story. I thought it meant she took him back recently. I saw so many people coming in saying that, and I'm like, I don't, I, I don't know what to put for my title. <laughs> Because she did. He did go back home after the attack, you know? Okay. I was confused too, but it took 20 seconds to figure out. Okay, okay, okay. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, well, my thing is like, what would have happened if when authorities approved David's return to stay at that house, what would have happened if if David and Jace would have got into it and he would have like seriously hurt Jace? Who would be at fault then? I mean, obviously, David, Janelle, and then also whoever approved that. Whoever in authority let David come back to protect them needs to look at their social... Yeah. Yeah. As of right now, um, they're split up. Last I heard, he's still on the boat, you know, making comments about Janelle left and right. I know Janelle's dogs were spotted, like, again, like three of Janelle's dogs were spotted again down the road. And somebody took pictures of them saying, hey, does anybody know whose dogs these are? And David commented and said, yep, that's Janelle Evans Eason's dog. She don't ever take care of them and she don't keep them from getting out. Um, oh, oh, stay safe, stay safe. I'm sending you thoughts and prayers. Stay safe. Where's Marissa? Is she okay? Everyone in her life is failing her. Marissa is with her family. Um, a, a source told me that she is staying between like her grandmothers and her mothers. So her mom is in her life. I don't know why Janelle would say that Marissa's mom hasn't been in her life. According to my sources, Marissa even lived with her parents at one time. So like she lived with her mom after the show went off, like after Janelle uh, got fired from the show or whatever, she actually moved back home with her mom and her stepdad to what I was told. But that's where we're at right now. The fact, I'm just, uh, to use, to say that he did not hurt Jace, knowing what you saw, because Janelle was there when this took took place. From every, I've talked to so many sources, and they're like, she was literally in the car. They pulled up. David gets out. This all happens. And it wasn't just a, uh, it was like, you know, like it was a lot of tussling and David yelling and screaming and nasty things to Jace. And she just sat in the car. Like, I would have got out and I would have been bop, 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 bop in the back of David's head if that would have been me. You know what I'm saying? Nope, she said nothing. Then she denies it. You know, she publicly denied it, said that uh, they were having to be protected from Jace. And now she's using the fact that David did this to help her get custody of Inslee and to keep David from Inslee. So you will go to the courts and say all these things about David to keep David away from Inslee. But when David actually does something to Jace, you say, oh, no, 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 that didn't happen. That didn't happen. Mm, nope. David's probably throwing that play money at Janelle as she dances in her holy panties. Sherry, oh my goodness, that's funny. That's so funny. Um, yeah, no one, heck, I would have been just sitting in the car. How is he even allowed to go back to the house? The authorities gave him permission after the alleged break-in. Yeah, the article was like, it was kind of hard because at one point they admit that, are they say like, oh, an article that we wrote the other day, um, we were not correct in it to say that, um, 
the Janelle got jealous. The Janelle got jealous when she saw David at the bar and that he was talking to a woman. But then it goes on to later say, say that again. So I'm like, you could take that out. I don't know. But yeah, to my from my understanding, is there is some sort of upstairs that was supposed to be built into a room for Jay's that's never been completed. I'm surprised she doesn't have somebody else already. Does she? We don't know. I think she probably does. I ain't even lying. I think she probably does have somebody else, but that's that's just me. I don't have any nobody, no source has told me this. I just think she probably has. But that's what I just learned today, you guys. When this article was sent to me, I was like, what? You mean to tell me the police authorized David going back to that house, staying there to protect his family with the allegations that was against him? If he was allowed back there, should be paperwork she could show. Uh, she can't make choices for herself. She shouldn't have. True story. True story. Wouldn't the courts have to grant permission for him to be there? That doesn't happen overnight. Yes, they would have to grant. Yeah, and and according to uh, Janelle's manager, they did. I would like to see where the authorities gave permission. Like, really, how? Yeah. I mean, if they didn't, and she's just saying that. I would think that it's a law that he can't come around Jay's and that a judge could be the only one that they could say whether Jay's could be around him. Yeah, the judge would be the only one that I would assume could make that call. So if he did, that's horrible to hear. And if he didn't, and Janelle's lying. So anyways, you guys, we're going to continue to keep up with David and Janelle and all the shenanigans going on with everything. Um, David still has a court date, but I don't know what it is. I've been trying to figure it out. I've been trying to find out when the court date is. Don't know. Haven't heard. But I have heard that Janelle has stopped paying for his attorney. And that could be why David has been so active on TikTok lately. He's on TikTok to try to get paid um, to pay for his attorneys. But I also heard that David has a problem, a drinking problem. So when he does have money, he usually spends it on alcohol what's so crazy though is that david will literally sit on tiktok saying i barely drink when i go to the bar i don't drink i don't drink and then video surface of him at the bar drinking he does drink he drinks he likes to say that he doesn't drink he drinks and i'm of the understanding that he has a little bit of a problem when he has money he likes to spend it on alcohol so while he's on tiktok in an effort to make money to pay for his attorney i don't think he's ever going to save up enough because he drinks a good bit. Um, Jay's behavior, I think she didn't take up him because she thinks his behavior is wanted, but she wanted to take him because she had. Yeah, I'm like, you know, behavioral issues are not a 14 year old don't deserve what David did to him. It was choking, putting in the headlock, ramming into the car. He literally put him in the headlock and rammed his head into the side of the car, from my understanding. Okay. So, that's much. I mean, David's big enough that if Jace acted out, he could have just went up behind Jace, wrapped his arms around him, and told Janelle, call the cops. Jace, I'm I'm holding you down until the cops get here. I mean, versus getting physical with him, you know? I mean, um, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know he didn't deserve it. I just think that's her twisted reasoning. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're probably right. That's probably what she thought. Like, oh, well. Jace does X, Y, and Z, so this is what he gets. But no, you don't you don't do that. You know, um, you know, Jace is 14 years old. Like, I don't even know how much he weighs, maybe like 130. I don't know. And David is gigantic compared to him. Um, do I think this is the end of David and Janelle? No. I honestly I don't. I don't think this is the end. I think in some time, maybe after the case is completed. Uh, they will probably get back together. That's just that's just my thoughts. I hope so. I said that too. I was like, I think this is like they did this so she could get him back over there. Anyways, you guys, like, share, subscribe. We're gonna be continuing to keep up with what's going on 
concerning David and Janelle. Um, I wanted to do my uh, Mama June recap today, but I'm probably going to have to push that back up until tomorrow. Isn't Janelle seeing a guy named Ryan? Janelle is really good friends with a guy named Ryan, but I don't know if there's anything there. I've heard that Ryan has somebody. I heard that Ryan, I saw somebody say that he was married. I, I heard somebody say that he has a girlfriend. So I don't know, but I did see that she posted that her and Inslee were going out on the boat with Ryan like this past weekend. Um, do you think Team Mom is going to call her? I don't know. She did post that she was in, that they went to Las Vegas and then she went to like LA for something. And she said she's working on something. So I don't know. Team Mom is desperate for ratings. So they may, they may call her. Who knows? I mean, listen, I'm not going to lie. You know, when it comes to TV and what you watch, stuff like Janelle's life could be entertaining. Farrah, Janelle, who else has been kicked off that would, Farrah, Janelle. Nobody likes to watch boring TV for entertainment. You know what I'm saying? So, Janelle, Farrah, who else, you guys? I don't remember. There was like three people that I'm like, they got them back. They probably, the ratings probably pick right back up, you know? Um... But yeah, anyway, like, share, subscribe. And I do think I have more content today that I need to do. So just make sure your notification bell is on. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Oh, hit that thumbs up on your way out if you don't mind. Bye, guys.